I'm Alok Srivastava from the Christian Medical College, Bellore, in India. We are excited about developing a novel AV3 vector-based gene therapy for hemophilia B for several reasons. There are several novel elements in this vector. First, the AV3 capsid with its much higher tropism for the human hepatocyte. A compact yet powerful liver-specific promoter with a unique transgene matched with a novel codon-optimized sequence of the factor IX gene with the Padua variant inserted between the AV3 ITRs. Let me now take you through the poster. Figure 1 shows the effect of these optimization steps compared to the St. Jude UCL vector with a threefold increase in factor IX expression due to the codon optimization strategy and an eightfold enhancement due to the Padua sequence. Figures 2 and 3 show the data on optimization of the promoter, which to begin with is less efficient than the LP1, but when combined with a specific subpoena 1 enhancer, leads to a twofold higher expression. Figure 4 shows the schema of the final transgene expression cassette with all its features compared to the St. Jude UCL vector. Given all the changes made, a 40 to 50 fold higher expression may be expected. We then went on to in vivo assessment of the vector. For this, the expression cassette was packaged in the AV8 vector and tested in the hemophilia B mice. The results in figure five show comparable factor IX antigen expression to the St. Jude UCL vector and a dose-dependent response when a higher, a tenfold higher dose was given. And finally, to test the expression cassette in the AV3 vector, we had to use a humanized liver mouse model. Given the lack of infectivity of AV3 for mouse tissues, this data shown in Figure 6 also confirm the good factor IX activity level at two, four, and eight weeks after vector infusion, with parallel assays for the human albumin, confirming the stability and persistence of human hepatocytes in this model. While we appreciate the current clinical trials of AV8 and AV5 vector-based gene therapy for hemophilia, it has become clear that the very large doses of vector genomes needed to carry enough transgene to give the desired factor levels frequently result in T-cell mediated destruction of the transduced cells, leading to a loss or reduction of the therapeutic response. With the much higher tropism of the AV3 vector for the human hepatocyte and the 40 to 50 fold enhancement of expression through various novel modifications in the transgene we have constructed, we hope to overcome many of these limitations.